So why did you wear a red shirt today? Yeah, we'll talk about that I later. I told you, uh, this is from my Pat McClanahan collection of Goodwill, by the way. Who's Pat McClanahan? Pat is the oh, that runs Goodwill Industries now in Los Angeles. Oh. Friend well, of the show. Well, okay. <laughs> no, he is. <laughs> and so when we had our meeting the other day about how to spruce up our wardrobe, yeah. I took $24 into a Goodwill and came out with six really bitchin' shirts. This was so cute because we did have a <laughs> meeting about the show, about like what we're doing and just kind of, hey, let's, you know, kind of. Uh, check us out and w what we can do better. Because we're not TV people. And one of the things... We're reporters. We're newspaper was people. people very gently said that he needed to dress better. Yeah. <laughs> so it was so cute. They said, you know, Tom, you, you just dress a little drab. You should do a little color. So literally an hour later, I start getting... <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm in a dressing phone. room sending him pictures. How does this look? How does this look? It was like... And he goes, was... not the stripes. I'll go with that one. Steve showed us those pictures. Yeah. It was it was it was cute and disturbing. It was and, disturbing, and it reminded me of like pretty women. Like I'd be like, no, and then yeah. And it well, was the crappy thing is you can only take three shirts in the dressing room at a time. So I right. put three shirts out, and I know that those three shirts are going to get stolen as soon as I put them out there, because <laughs> they were good shirts. <laughs> so wait a minute. So you're you're honoring what Goodwill does, but now you're just ripping everyone yeah. who goes there. They're just going to steal well, your clothes. Well, because they see the good stuff. <laughs> I was there picking out the good stuff. Uh, and and how many shirts did you end up getting? Six. And how much you pay? Twenty four bucks. There you go. There and they're it all is. quality stuff. Oh. Tom's wardrobe provided by Goodwill Industries. That's right. <laughs> yes. I way, don't know where this is from. Two quick things. I just. But saw you know this. what? Hey, we have to remember. A lot of people are listening to this. So let's oh, describe. You're wearing a kind of brick red t-shirt kind of a it kind of looks like a tommy bahama kind of thing yeah yeah, yeah if Extra, tommy i think it's x got that x island x feel. got that island feel right yeah yeah I, it's about there was a lot of x's on the tag so i think that's not and then good. i'm actually wearing a corduroy <laughs> shirt for some reason that when looks, it's a thousand degrees looks like outside. you're a uh, waiter at a uh, italian restaurant <laughs> really it's, it's a little burgundy what, what, what italian restaurant have you been to where they have corduroy shirts buca de beppa <laughs> He just likes to go. <laughs> yeah, you just like that. So I think they wear dickies. Two quick things I want to point out. Yeah. So before the show, too, my favorite spot now is is the uh, Carson Truck Stop across the street, <laughs> on the corner of uh, Maine and this Victoria. This is officially the lowest rent show ever. They have the best coffee because it's made for truckers. Yes. The Boyd's Coffee from Portland. And what did you? Did this you? is called high octane coffee. Right. Which which is another thing I was told I need to enunciate louder. Yeah. Yeah. So I've now, I'm now timing my medication with Boyd's coffee. Well, it's funny. You, you took a beating in that meeting. We'll talk about this later. I took a beating about five minutes ago where basically the entire family turned on true. me. True. But we can talk about that later. I need Boyd's, and I'll tell you why. I'm exhausted sure. with the LeBron stuff. Oh, it's crazy. It's LeBronathon. It's Le LeBron. It's, we're in, uh, what, what do we call this period, uh, uh, LeBron fatigue? I'm so tired because... You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me when I first started online dating. It seemed like it was going to be an exciting new adventure filled with new experiences. And it's just turned this into... This show has just turned into... <laughs> it's just... it's it, All the stuff you hear now, it's just lies and half-truths and disappointment. And and that's what this is now. It's just... I just want it to be no, over it's a, with. No, it's a, it's a daily, what can I throw out there to make it look like news and then have reporters chase it down as if it is news. I was disgusted the other day when I saw the Washington Post was quoting an ESPN story that was basically just thrown out there to get right. discussion started. It's like, Post, you're better than this. Yeah. You don't need to be uh, me, putting your uh, stamp of approval on an ESPN rumor. Right, exactly. And but I, it, but I, they need it for the clicks or whatever they need it for. Exactly. Yeah. In fact, we were going to have a guy on the show, a uh, beat writer for, uh, he covers the, the Lakers. and For a paper <laughs> we won't discuss. He called me about an hour ago <laughs> and said, I'm sorry, man, I can't leave my house. I'm, I'm neurotic, you know, ESPN or someone will drop some big news that like LeBron was seen having a smoothie on the third street promenade in Santa Monica. And that these poor guys, that's what's left to them now. Any LeBron sightings this week? Uh, no, but I did uh, see that it is almost a certainty that Bronny, LeBron James Jr. Bron -bron. will be uh, attending school this year in Los Angeles. Well, Whether like that's uh, Sierra Canyon, Canyon or not, but Notre Dame, yeah, Sherman Oaks. I was thinking, uh, isn't Crossroads, is Crossroads still a thing? Yeah, one. I would imagine it would be uh, yeah. Sierra Canyon. Where did with all uh, the other Shaq's NBA son kids. go? He went to Crossroads, right? Is that what he did? Yeah, a lot of a lot of athletes' yeah. kids go to Crossroads. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, LeBron or Baron Davis was one of the first big ones to go there, but um, 
Sierra Canyon has got. Uh, is that a new high school? I've never heard of that. Um, it's K through twelve, I believe. Ah. Uh, it's but, kind of the, yeah. The Scotty newest. Pippen's kid is there. Okay. Kenyon Martin's kid is there. Yeah. Wow. They, just, they just won the state basketball title. They defeated oh. Chino Hills, which was yeah a big upset. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Dang. So that is the new landing spot for uh, up and coming. Uh, it's yes. funny how these goes, modern day, then Santa Margarita, yeah. then Oaks Christian, Oaks and now this place. Yeah. yeah. They the just flavor, one after another. Labor of the year. But I, the other the other stories are that um, LeBron will not be the first one to sign with the Lakers. Yeah. Uh, apparently, he's also called Kevin Durant to try to get him to leave the Warriors to come to the Lakers. That's real? That is – that's real. That's what Stephen A. Smith was reporting this morning on – However – um, <laughs> You see, it's gotten to the point when yeah. I need to, his name is, I just change the channel, whatever. It's yeah. like, I don't want to hear it. Because at least with the Kawhi stuff, they might have to, tr they will have to trade for him. So the, at least there you say, well, what are the assets that they could put together? With LeBron, it's simply a question, is he coming or not? Yes or well, no? Well, and even with that, uh, the first time he left, you have to remember that when he went to Miami from Cleveland, that was a sign and trade. Yeah. So it might be a situation where he opts in for a sign and trade. It might be... Something similar to that. Or when he came back to Cleveland, it was just a straight free agency move. There was no sign and trade there. So, Johnny, you're from Cleveland or you're from Ohio um, and you follow the Cavs. I was I saw some report the other day where they were talking to people uh, basically who have businesses around the arena who've benefited so much from him being there, um, made millions of dollars off LeBron. And it was interesting when they were talking to these people you got the feeling, number one, that they were kind of resigned, that he's probably going to leave. And number two, there wasn't the bitterness of the previous time. No, 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 yeah. no. It's, it's a completely different mindset right now. And uh, if you go through ESPN, like Brian Windhorse is a Northeast Ohio guy. He's said straight up, no, it seems like they're the Cavs are pretty much playing it as if he's leaving. Right. They're kind of anticipating that he's going to leave. But it's a whole different story from eight years ago when he left without any championships, having been to one final. Uh, you know, we just the, he just took the Cavs to four straight finals. You right. can't be mad at the guy because he ran into the buzzsaw that is Golden State. Yeah, this be like if you were uh, dating someone, and then uh, I don't dating. know. Why do you keep bringing this up? <laughs> dating. You okay? Today? Do you see how I'm getting pounded? <laughs> About everything, even when I'm trying to make uh, these uh, great comparisons. You're doing it to yourself. If you were, yeah. if you were dating <laughs> someone and then uh, who shows up? George Clooney or something like that. And they say, you know, and Why you're like, you I get George it. Why would you George Clooney? <laughs> <laughs> because he'd be nice to me. But he's okay. a playboy. We yes. all know this, Steve. Come there, on. Wait, so no, wait, but we have a discussion about World Cup players who are very dreamy. We've had this discussion. Oh, wait, I want to go back to this playboy thing because this is exactly <laughs> right. The Lakers are a playboy. This is the, I've heard the people who have been angry, well, the Lakers are just going to go out and sign a, a team. But that's the Lakers' move. It has been since they got Will Chamberlain. They don't, they're not patient. They go out and they, they trade for Kareem. They trade for the rights to Magic and James Worthy. And then they go out and sign Shaq. And yeah, I was going to say Shaq was the biggest one. Yes, well, absolutely. Well, the biggest one because of Jerry West. But also it showed that after Shaq, they couldn't get Dwight Howard. They couldn't get um, the guy that went to uh, San Antonio. Oh, oh uh, LaMarcus Aldridge. LaMarcus. Yeah. So they were having a lot of well, brand, after, brand You mean issues. after Kobe. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. But I, but, I, but I mean is you L.A. just lost its mojo as far as attracting big names. And, and Jerry West was not part of the picture at that yeah. time, too. So. You couldn't just say, hey, we're the Lakers, you know, like Paul George says, I want to be a Laker. That's right. uh, that's very small percentage at this point. In fact, I think that's maybe the thing that makes makes us um, unpleasant is normally people are in the old days. They were pounding the door down to get in. Yeah. And now you're having to go kind of hat in hand. Please come and be our friend. But it brings up the point, too, where us uh, as with our background in journalism, journalism, working as or reporters. Journalism. Right? Yeah. Uh, thanks, Boyd's. Boyd's. Um, we have to really check in these rumors all the time. We would we would be chasing sports talk radio now, the internet now, social media right. for these stories, and basically trying to repurpose them as our own slant. So you right. get the same story that just gets circulated. Right. And I I don't know if people look at newspapers as they used to, where it was sort of like the last bastion of truth. Right. Where if I can listen to all this stuff, but I, if it's in the paper, if I see it in print, then yeah. then I'll know it's true. Yeah. I don't know if that's still the case. 
whether we've sort of stooped down to that sort of level. The guy we were going to have on the show, who we'll have on a later one, I asked him about that. Like, how do you maintain some integrity of a newspaper, which, like books, still are seen as being solid and real? That if it if it appears in that, you're more likely that's true. Whereas I think the internet is seen more transitory. And he says it's very difficult because. You can just throw things. You could say, he's coming, he's not coming. He's coming, he's not coming. With sources. And then whatever sources. happens, yeah. you say, see, I was right, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that's why he's he's holed up in his apartment. And that tends to be a uh, a characteristic recently uh, that has developed, or a characteristic trait that has developed more recently is uh, you'll see people six weeks before something happens, like, I'm calling it now. Right. Yeah. Calling it now. Right. Like, uh, I forget who the first person was. Maybe it was Coward or whoever it was. Right. But, you know, a, two years ago, as soon as LeBron signed that two-year deal, they're like, oh, well, he's going to the Lakers in two years. I'm calling it now. Yeah. Right. But wasn't Stephen A. taking credit for some other story recently? Was it LeBron coming back to Cleveland or something like that, that he – it was patting himself on the back, you know, he separated his shoulder doing it. But it was one of those situations where people came around and said, oh, yeah, Stephen A., he was on top of that. Right. And then, he, oh, yeah, my sources were all correct. And it's like, yeah. you just, you got, you threw a dart and you got lucky. Right. I mean. Yeah, I mean, exactly. What are you, you going to do? They, they were all oh, caught. I think they were reacting <laughs> to your little impression there. Oh, so yeah, that impression is a little. <laughs> suspect <laughs> yes we'll just move on Maybe by I the way i haven't listened to it much. right now as we're doing this we're actually watching england and belgium trying to avoid winning uh which is fun but this is one of the reasons i have loved the world cup so much i just know enough about soccer in the world cup to enjoy it but the thing is now with like all the american sports you you are just so inundated with gossip and information and backstory and context that it becomes exhausting. Right. I've heard people say that they enjoy the off season now of the NBA more than the regular season, but I just find it it's just redundant and and this the people games. actually playing and the games yeah. are what sell it. Yeah. The drama is what sell it. Head to head stuff is what sell it and you know. There you go. You can't see like, this but that looks amazing. There Kate you go. Ab yeah. Kate Abdo sells it. I I was going to wear that. See? You so should've. yeah, and I will next time. Yeah. yeah. Oh jeez, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't we do a little business? Can we do some business? Sports business? Yeah, let's do some business. Let's do a sports two-minute business drill. All right, let's do it. All right, do it. Business drill. Let me, let me put my stuff down. Here, here I'll take that. Oh, oh, look oh at wait that. a minute. Hey, bring that back for one sec. Can you Why? Bring back the coffee. Just for one sec. I want the coffee. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, bring it back. <laughs> look. To the you watching. Oh, my God. It's like you're uh, it's like cat. Advertising wow. boards. You are. Are you what a pair? Are you getting money? Because we share everything. I'm gonna have to blur that out in post production. <laughs> this is this is a pain. <laughs> all right, we'll take that back. All right, go ahead. Two right. minute business drill. Without the. Oh, by the way, I had all these notes prepared for our guest today. That's no good. <laughs> so, all right, two minute business drill. Yes. All right. So, as we know, any story that involves LeBron James is clickbait yeah. on on and any sort of media thing. Um, we got the billboards around town right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so NBA free agent period opens Saturday at 9 p.m. West Coast. Yeah. You knew that, right? Yeah. All the NBA TV, everyone's got 24-hour service on this. So when we when LeBron made his decision in 2010, it was a special on ESPN orchestrated by Jim Gray, and it was oh, just yeah. a crap fest. Oh, God. Yeah. Don't remind me of oh, that. Oh, wait. Hold on one sec. Tell us your story when that happened. Where were you? I was at my then-girlfriend's house. Uh, and as soon as he said, this is a very difficult thing for me, yeah. I went, fuck, you're done. gone. You're done. <laughs> He's right. gone. But my uh, my one buddy was actually a intern uh, for WKYC Channel 3, I think right. it is, in Cleveland, who also, it was Sports Time Ohio, so he was, they operated Sports Time Ohio. He was an intern there. He actually had the, he was the one who shot the famous... Lighting the lighting the jersey on fire oh, footage right. as an intern, and I've been trying to like down you know, tell people this. He instigated that shit. Like they were standing there with a lighter and a jersey, and he go. Of he basically was going, "Are you gonna light it or what? Are you just gonna stand <laughs> there, or are you just gonna light the thing on fire?" Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. so good. Let me. It, 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 I just want to follow up. I'm talking about having exhaustion now, just from having them say, "Well, he's gonna come or not come." What was it like? Sorry. What was it like in Ohio? <laughs> Because he was, we, we were talking about breaking up, but he was literally like going to every team. I remember that whole tour. It, 
it was uh let me know when it this was nerve wracking <laughs> uh, i thought this was a drill session yeah this was a two well, minute no, drill no, no, but this yeah, is come it on happens. <laughs> all right all right tommy go drill oh now we're on <sighs> all right so lebron 2010 espn special 2014 yes it was a lee jenkins sports illustrated cover story right how will it happen this year It'll be LeBron's media choice of his own, his 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 web platform uninterrupted, right? Have you okay. guys seen yeah. this one? Uh, yeah. It's the one that has a couple of podcasts on it. It's one where he does his barbershop show and it all these Okay. Things. All right. So I, I found a Washington Post story. So this company is another potentially disruptive force at a time when established media outlets are under pressure to adapt to declining subscriptions. Yeah. Um, Sounds familiar. But they're not in any way journalism. They're entertainment. Right. So the problem is there's this crossover. It's like when Kobe Bryant used the Players' Tribune to sort of announce he was this was going to be it for him. And right. He put out his, you know, his dear basketball stuff on there, and that became very popular. Right. Um, LeBron is using this as well, and I don't know if you know about the background of this. It's it's a it's a media company he started, but it's funded a lot by Time uh, by Warner Brothers in okay. Burbank. Okay. They dumped a lot of money in it. They're connected to the Bleacher Report. They're connected to Turner Sports. It's all this big incestual mm-hmm. entertainment company that LeBron is working through to sort of make this announcement his right. and his again. So um, what I'm hearing is, you know, Brian Windhorst believes this announcement will come before July 4th. Mm-hmm. Others are saying it's going to be July 6th. So, you know, we're, we're just going to have to wait. And well, see in that. years past, it was the, the first one, I think, was the 10th. Or something like that, July tenth ish, somewhere right. around there. And then when he came back to Cleveland, it was somewhere like the eighth or ninth, and yeah. somewhere in there. Um, the only, I wouldn't be surprised if it lasted that long again. Yeah. Um, I don't well, think we're gonna have a Fourth of July. Uh, you know, holy crap, Kevin Durant signed with the Warriors moment again. Right. But. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it came. Yeah, that was court. a 4th of July thing. That was crazy. Yeah, I woke up on, on the 4th of July, right. and I was like, yeah. no! <laughs> That's right, that's right. Well, he sees himself as the main act, and the main act doesn't come on before the opening band, right? So he's going to wait till. I'm sure he's going to make sure everything's set, but he'll want to have that big moment. Yeah, it goes to the story of uh, him not wanting to be the first superstar right. to sign with the Lakers, where you know that's why there's right. so much pressure for them to get on the Kawhi deal or to right. get Paul George or somebody – because, like I said earlier, uh, when the season was still going on, the Lakers don't have anybody right now. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, when he came to the Cavs, they had at least Kyrie and Tristan Thompson, right. who was one all star and another borderline all star. Right. Right now, the Lakers don't have any of them. They just have potential. That's they have all. potential. They, they look okay, but they won 30 games. Yeah. Yeah. And if they trade for Kawhi, like Kuzma's going to be part of that deal. Sure. Um, Ingram's probably going to be part of that deal. Right. I Sadly. wouldn't be surprised if Randall got thrown in somehow. I hope not. And yeah. at least I a draft pick, not. probably. Oh, that's crazy. I was telling Tommy that it, it's weird. I know this is the Lakers' move to sign free agents and trade for big stars, but I think, I have to say it, I think a lot of people, my son included, have kind of <laughs> have kind of fallen in love with these young kids yeah. and, and, and kind of think, like, wouldn't it be neat actually to grow with a team as opposed just to say, here's the team? Um I don't know. I, I kind of am sad if they if they end up having to get rid of all these guys. Well, it reminds me of the Dodgers back in the 90s when they were bringing up all those rookies of the year, and it was a really fun team to watch, but they never won anything. Right, so that's true. That's the risk you take. They've even had that in the last couple of years with the Dodgers, too, with yeah. Bellinger and yeah, Seager. And you get right to the precipice, and then it's like, yeah. It's a good point, too, because they've got – I mean, their next big move is just to get into the playoffs, but the, the difference from going from an 8-7 to seven seed – to being in the league final is yeah, is huge. massive, yeah. especially in the West. Yeah. Yes, and so you probably don't get there with a bunch of nice kids who make funny videos. That if if so, Elizabeth and Nicole would be in the NBA finals, right? Yeah, they yeah we would. There you go. See. Um, so back to the but, but I interrupted back to the you, seven minute drill now. <laughs> Once again, there was a great tweet I saw. ESPN this has been Los, relentless. ESPN Los Angeles asked on a tweet. If LeBron comes to L.A., who will come with him? Uh-huh. The grace response was Brian Windhorst. <laughs> so. That is the truest statement <laughs> yes. of all time. <laughs> so the other news this week, U.S. Department of Justice okayed a $71 billion merger of Disney with a bunch of 21, 21st Century Fox properties, Okay. except for the Fox regional networks. There's 22 of them, including Fox Sports West, Prime Ticket. So is that not part of the deal now? That's not part of the deal. Disney now has to sell those off to a third party. Because apparently nobody wants nobody those. Nobody wants these things, apparently, now, because uh, the, the, the the Department of Justice said they would create a monopoly of, with sports networks because Disney owns ESPN. Right. 
So those RSNs alone are worth about $22 billion. Oh, and uh, so Disney now has to find probably Comcast is the, the prime person to, yeah. to buy those off because Comcast want to, still wants a piece of this deal. That deal isn't done yet, but uh, it's it's funny how these regional sports networks, which are seen as a foundation for all right. these teams, are just you know not. Uh, I uh, had heard Amazon was getting in the mix on that too. That could be that could be a great oh, yeah. great great grab for them. Uh, another thing in the media: the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts, and Sciences. Uh. recently extended its membership <laughs> to 928 people mostly people of uh, different backgrounds and things. yeah kobe bryant applied to be a member he was turned down uh, it, 928 is that everyone who votes for the oscars yes these oh, that's co- all that's as big as it is no that that was extended to that they they oh, added a bunch of it was smaller than that oh i yeah. thought it was everybody yeah. the in worst, the film no. business the worst is the uh what is it hollywood foreign press it's like <laughs> yeah, 75 that's... people or right. something like that yeah and that's the golden globe so kobe now the oscar winner of the short films thought he deserved to get in and right. get a vote but they said no 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 right you're, you're good we're good with you yeah um the other great part about you know the movie uncle drew is coming out mm-hmm. this week yes so uh, phil rosenthal chicago Br- tribune he saw it in the in the theater recently there's this great joke at Kobe's expense. I, I hope I don't give this away, but uh, so Kyrie Irving is plays this old uh, basketball player. Right, Uncle Drew. Sha- Uncle Drew. Shaq is also on his team. Right. And there's a point where uh, Drew is hogging the ball, and Shaq screams out, "Pass the ball, Kobe!" <laughs> that's actually in the trailer. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's in the trailer. Oh, oh that's so even better. Even better. Hey, Tommy, I want to go back when you mentioned Disney might buy all these Fox stations. Now we don't get political, but I'm just curious. Does that include Fox News? No. That's oh, that's a whole different no, thing. No, it is. It is uh, FX Network. Yeah. It, it it was the regionals and it was 21st Century Fox TV and film. Okay. So oh, not, not yeah. The sports division. Sports division news. All that stays with News Corp. Does this will this change ESPN at all? Well, ESPN still needs to figure out how to you know advance into the 21st century itself, and there's yeah. still kind of bouncing ideas around with ESPN plus and all kinds of yeah things. which really needs to get better yeah it's just so <laughs> much I can't I can't stand the fact that part of the scroll across the bottom of the screen at ESPN is promoting stuff that's on the plus and it's like really this is like I, I wouldn't even get this for free what let alone pay five bucks a month for it right well and the thing is that it, all this stuff that you can watch on plus is stuff that they used to just give you yeah mm-hmm. for free like now I they can watch like cricket and squash yeah. and yeah. all that shit for <laughs> Yeah. Free and yeah. not have to pay the five bucks a month. Yeah. And it was just part of ESPN three. Yeah. But when you get plus, you don't get all the actual no. channels. No. So it's like you just get the extra stuff. You don't get ESPN, ESPN News, ESPN U, ESPN right. Classic, you know, the Ocho, all of that. You don't get all that. You just get all this other stuff. Hey, the team in the Red Argyle just scored. Oh, Ooh, they're doing Belgium. worst at losing. Belgium winning. There you go. Yay. Um, a couple yeah. other things. Can I get out of here? A couple other oh, things. Oh, sure. Yeah. I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> Fire them um, off, Tom. I'm digging this. Right. Wow. Fox, yeah. Fox. you remember, was the first network to hire a NFL rules specialist, Mike yes. Pereira? Yeah. Now where everyone else is piling in, CBS this week hired an NFL retired ref, Gene Serator. Yes, really? I love NBC him. NBC hired a retired NFL ref, Terry McCauley. Mm. But, but to me, I think this is a discussion. If you have to hire a rules official to be a part of your broadcast, doesn't that mean the rules are too complicated yes. for the normal fan to understand? Right. This this to me is just like an indication like TV partners are throwing up their hands saying, we don't even understand this. We need to hire right. an official official to explain to us what we don't know because we we, we watch the guys on the field just throwing their hands up. Yeah. To be surprised, I'm oh, – or to be honest, I'm a little bit surprised that it was football that was the first one to have the rules official. Because personally, I think baseball has way more obscure, yes. random ass rules. In fi- well, infield fly and yeah, all that stuff, yeah. Than football, like, but football does have some pretty, you know, obscure, random rules. But like, really, the first what... time I remember something like where, like, oh my god, that's a rule was watching somebody fumble out the back of the end zone. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh no, that's actually a touchback for the yeah. other team. But all this goes back to Des Bryant. Is it a catcher? Is well, it yeah, a catch that. against the Packers? That's what it all goes back to. Because the... that's when everything started. And, of course, uh, the guy for Detroit, um, Megatron. Remember, he makes the catch in the end zone. Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson. Yeah, Calvin. Those two things. It's, it's the catch rule that's really created all this stuff now. That. Well, baseball, with its replay, I think is more in need of a rules official. Because yeah. there's so many times now you'll see, you know, why is it, did he tag, did he not tag? Right. And, and I guess that stuff's pretty self-explanatory. It's not so esoteric rule that that's involved. He's either safe or out. 
But with the NFL, it, it seems to me like it's just it's it's overthinking the whole process. Fans are just don't want to sit through these replays. And the the broadcasters have nothing to say. They just watch it or go to a commercial. And so right. When you need an official, even with college football, it's it, to me it's like a red flag for the NFL to sort of pull back on what how to how how to televise a game and and you know what it's all about because it's not but, there to confuse people. But Pereira is like the Charles Barkley of these guys. He yeah. is willing yeah. to call guys out. He's willing to say they blew that call, or whatever. Steve Javi, a, a dudes in college. You can tell they're still friends yeah. with these guys. Yeah, so yeah they protect them a little bit more. So they rarely, yeah. it, when they say, well, what do you think? Well, I think yeah. it's a close call. Well, yeah, well, that's why we hired you. Well, the problem with the CBS, too, with hiring an NFL referee, this guy was always wrong. Right. He would just say, what oh, do you think is going to happen? No, not, not CBS. CBS had a different guy. Oh, oh. Who they, I, yeah. Jerry, yeah. No, Jerry uh, during the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was wrong about everything. Yeah, yeah, and it was almost <laughs> like you could predict he would call the wrong thing. Right, so, exactly. So who got who got Serator? Who hired Serator? CBS. CBS. CBS did. Yeah. Okay. He. I. As much as we get to now see more of him, uh, I, that excites me. But it is we have to I have to recognize that is a loss. For the referee yes. community, yeah. yeah, because that guy is the single most entertaining yeah. ref. Yes, yeah. every because that's why like, they scooped him up. What do we got? We got uh, a <laughs> we got holding on this fucking guy. Over here. <laughs> it's a well, what about, what well about he's that? also John. He's also kind of like a he's so graceful. Do you ever notice how he go like, okay, and we got a first down like that? He's just very <laughs> yeah. like he moves like a dancer. Such attitude about. I loved him. But he's no, God, but he's no at hockey, right? Well. The well, thing about Hockley was this that he Hockley was ripped. Hockley has the, the steel floaties. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's yeah. all he's got is but, just But, you know, Skeletor was a performer. But Hockley's oh, yeah. retired too, right? Yeah, he's yeah. gone. But no yeah. one's picked him up. That's why I thought it was kind of interesting of these two guys. Hockley, I think, is too respected to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there They're you like, go. They're like, no, let him just, let him retire. Yeah, there exactly. Go. There you go. Yeah, so. Any more material? Oh, one last thing. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. Because you know there's a National Radio Hall of Fame. Uh, okay. They had a big uh, election recently where right. Jim Rome was put up against a conservative talk show host, and it was in the spoken word format on our personality category. Okay. Which yeah. sounds like some bizarre uh, Oscar thing. Right, exactly, yeah. Rome lost Technical out to this guy. Technical awards. So yeah. Rome lost out to this guy. Right. But they had a, the way to publicize that there is actually a Hall of Fame, they had people vote on this thing online. Right. Rome was pushing it hard. Rome too. was pushing hard on this yeah. one, and he lost out to Le- uh, Mike, Mark Levine, who has a much bigger audience. Oh, he lost. Oh, it was Mark Le- uh, Mark Levine that yeah. went in. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, it is. That guy's a nut job. Yeah, <laughs> yes, they all are. I've never heard of um, this guy. What, uh, is he big here? To be or is well, he on, he's on air? On, um, he's, he's on, on air. Westwood One, so you can hear him. Yeah, he's, oh, okay. he's nationwide. Okay, he's on Sirius too. Yeah, as well. Uh, he, He's got a real, like, a voice like this. <laughs> but to put these guys in the same category is just so sort of like me. missing the point because later in the – they More have like, like Chris Russo. This panel of experts yeah. also voted Mike and Mike got got put into the Hall in of In the Fame. same category? In a different category. Oh, what's that? Theirs were active network syndication 10 years plus. What? Which is what Rome has been doing. Right. And Rome is active. These other two guys aren't even on the air anymore. Yeah, they don't even like each other. So, yeah. so, so they get voted in uh, – and two more people got voted. Mike Francesa got voted in for his body of work. Yeah. And then Nancy Denealy got voted in. I don't know if you remember the fabulous sports babe. Right. She used to be on a long time ago. It was kind of a nod to her and her breaking. Yeah, I get that one. Yeah. So these three sports guys get in and Rome doesn't. And it's just kind of like a whole backwards. Stupendous. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> it's fantastic. Incredible. <laughs> he'll, um, get, he'll get in in three years. It, it reminded Check me. That. Rec- Five years. <laughs> recently. Check that. Eight. I was on the I board. I bet you won't. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you will. <laughs> Uh, I was on the board of the Southern California Sports Broadcasters. Stop Associate. breaking. Well, here's the point. They have a Hall of Fame vote every year. I oh, okay. gets in. And having By the way, that shirt looks great. Having seen the process yes. of how this works, I know what kind of a political kind of mess this can be. I think everybody wants yeah. to be behind the scenes with the Southern California, <laughs> whatever the hell you just said. Not so anymore. what is the process like? Well, can he make it to the ceremony? No, then forget it. Will he bring two tables full of people and sponsor an ad in the program? Nah, eh, forget it then. I mean, that's that's the crap you got to deal with. And by the way, this is also the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I've yeah. heard. Uh, I've heard similar things yes. with them too. Yeah, like yeah. the Sex They're Pistols didn't go because they were like, yeah. "Are you going to buy tables? All right, then you're not coming." So when you hear the, fa- the the story about a Hall of Fame announcing some, just know that they've got marketing behind it. They've mm. got some sort of uh, agenda behind it. Right. Uh, whether the guy's worthy or not, sure. Okay. Yeah. Will he show up? All right, he's in. <laughs> 
I mean, that's kind of what we're, we're dealing with this Rome thing. Just be careful of Hall of Fames and what they yeah. represent. That's By the way, we'll show up. <laughs> yeah, we will. I show up for everything. So. For the, uh, the, the, one that the Rome, YouTube Hall of Fame, yeah. I think we're... The one that Rome um, got, didn't get into, is is there an actual location? Yeah, it's or in is New this York. Just in the, oh, it is. Now, sometimes there is no location. That's the funny part about it, too. It's just an organization. Like, there's no physical Southern California Sports Hall of Fame. Right. Broadcasters. It's yeah. just a thing. Yeah. They give you an award. They have a big uh, awards dinner every January, and they, you know, it, it's, it looks like a big deal. Yeah. Um, but when you see the people who are in it, you go, all right, all right. So the the one that's in New York, like when they're no one's there, do they just use it as like an Airbnb? Is it's it probably, like it looks like a lobby to a bu- to a building. It's <laughs> it's just kind of a thing that's there. right. Or is it maybe like um, in a Hooters? But then again, uh, when you're in a Radio Hall of Fame, it's like being in like the Typewriter Hall of Fame. I mean, it's just at some point, uh, just let's move on to the next medium. I know. So. That's very sad. Very sad. But that's, and that's my two minute drill. God. How long was that? I don't know. Uh, more like 20. I'm sorry. Thank you. It was my bad. It was my stupendous. Bad. It was absolutely <laughs> stupendous. Well, I'm glad they're kind of getting you because, okay, so let's come around here. So before we started taping, um, Okay, everyone just say what their problem was with me. Nicole, you begin. Okay. Tuesday, Steve said he's going to get a new iPhone because oh. we're trying to teach him social media. He rolls up today. <laughs> what does he not have? A new iPhone. iPhone. Aside from a red shirt. That's, that's right. <laughs> okay, so number one, I'm getting the new iPhone. I swear I'll probably leave from here right right now, but then I actually have to go in. I think I think wireless stores are the new used car lots. Like, going in there... So I know coming you, out, I'm just going to feel filthy but where would when you I come go out. To get, where would you go? Would you go to Best Buy? Would you go to the Well, Apple no, I'm going to go to Verizon. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, I would go there. Right? Yeah. But don't you feel just, Oh, ooh, there are key, there's these weird kiosks that are in places now. I just don't, how, how can you exist? How, how does this work? <sighs> but I mean, it, Costco has its own. I just know that they're going to try and sell me something. And, right. a, and because I'm an idiot and I don't know what they're talking about, I'll, 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 oh, of course, yeah, of course I need that. And then I'm going to come out Take one reamed. of them with you. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Well, that's okay. What, that's what people of our age do. We take our younger generation okay. with we us can so we don't, get, our schedule, we don't get hosed. We can try. Hey, by the way, they're doing a great job. We're Pencil on Instagram them, now, and we're huge on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram, at, follow them, at the Drill Sports. They're going to yes. show me how to open a MySpace page, right? No. Yeah, <laughs> <Thank> great <laughs> idea, Tom. Thank what, you. And I'm on, I'm on the Vine, too. Oh, <laughs> don't ever say Ned that. Coletti, Ned Coletti and I are on the Gram. The Gram. the Gram. You are you are officially on the Gram now, Thank so you. yeah, you can say that. Thank you. He was telling a great story about Charlie Day and a Gram of uh, <laughs> yeah. That was move good. on. Hey, <laughs> and what was your problem with me? I had no problems. Just with the you. shirt, the red shirt, the red we shirt. Discussed but this is sh- clearly maroon. Yeah, but look at us on the monitor. We look yeah. like a, a a test pattern for <laughs> fading. <laughs> Which color we're, should I paint my wall today? Fade. You're a red gradient. <laughs> Ah, very nice. Yeah, we're code red. You got anything else? Uh, Belgium still leading one to nothing against Ingaloon. Which means they're losing. That's true. Yeah. There you go. Uh, do you you were making a case for uh, reorganizing the seeds after? Or you weren't, but that's no. I think John was. Discussed. Yeah. Do you think they should reorganize the seeds? I kind of like the way it plays out. I like knowing, uh, you know, who you're matched up potentially with for the first round and right. stuff like that. I, I and it's got a tournament kind of feel to it it's similar to like march madness you know seating matters and if how it breaks it breaks but you kind of have okay this is where they can be in the final four this is who they could face in the elite eight this is so but you're so what sport where you're if you're the top seed you always get the bottom team no matter what is it nba well in the in your conference yeah but like this year they they show that actually it used to be hockey yeah, yeah, hockey, hockey used thinking. to do a reseeding. You, so you never knew one to sixteen a while ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, one, get, uh, in, one day you'd one always day get the lowest seed no matter what. But see, like in the NBA, team. they should do that one to sixteen because the East is so weak. Yeah, uh, this yeah, year well, I don't know should. if any of those teams would have made it. But out of the if first you round. take it twenty-five years ago, and it would have been the West is so weak. Yeah. Why do we even have the West? Right, exactly. So. But that's what I'm saying. So you would always be guarded against having like the final we did this year. As opposed to the the dubs and the um, and the rockets, that would have actually been a good one because this one. Well, I mean, so think about to the when the Lakers were winning their championships. Right. Uh, some of those Western Conference Finals, like Sacramento and the Lakers, yeah, were basically the, the default. The finals, yeah. That's true. The default finals when you right. know they go and beat the shit out of the Nets or the Sixers right. or yeah, something the like Nets. that. Yeah, never belonged. Those were especially. But oh. but just think about it. If the Kings and Lakers had been the final. 
that'd be an all-time classic where now most people don't even know that happened. Hey, they still call him Big Shot Rob, don't they? They still do. They still do. And you, um, were, you were a big shot. <laughs> From people I talk to, I've talked to some people lately, they say you uh, are still a big shot. Don't da, try to da, get da, on my da, good da, side da, after you guys da, just da, trashed da. me. Anyways, All right, uh, shot. this was terrific. Yeah. I really liked your business drill. That was nice. Well, it was it kind of took up the whole show. It was only supposed to be two minutes. No, 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 no. But I like that. That's good. I, right. I think that, I think this is a big calling card for the show is your like insight to the business and then me just being charming. I don't feel like I brought insight. <laughs> I feel like I brought the topic up and you and Johnny just sort of took it from there. I, see, I... I don't want you to see John as a rival. I really feel no, that no, you no. two are competing for my affection. And I want you to know I, I, I really care for both of you. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank Aww. you very much. Yeah, that's nice. By the way, did you notice we have some new uh, material here in our in our room? Uh, Jim Thompson brought over his Mike Trout trophy, which or not trophy, the uh, bronze that he did. Right. It's a one of a kind, and uh, he brought it into our show last week. It's fact. He it's now wants fabulous. to add it to the room. Yeah. He also brought him a new one that we did not see until today, which is this, this Jackie Robinson bronze. That's so cool. Nice you know, Vanna plate, White, John. <laughs> which kind of mirrors the Thank photo you. that uh, Steve brought in, but. For the people yeah, on the I podcast. Yeah, I have both of them. It's people fantastic. Of pod, the people of the uh, podcast, it's it's kind of what the statue of Jackie Robinson at Dodger Stadium right now looks like. He's in the slide position. Right. W this one has a catcher who's ready to tag him out, which which is. Uh, we're assuming it's Yogi Berra, but yeah. we, we can't I think be. We're, we're waiting for the instant replay ruling on, on oh, whether he's safe Can you imagine? Or you yeah. see, there's a, there's an example where, where instant replay would have ruined any. It would have ruined history, right? Because that's such an iconic moment, and yeah. clearly he's out yeah. when you watch it on the oh, film. Yeah, Yogi he's Berra had every out. reason to, yeah. to crap his pants. That he was <laughs> out. He was. Speaking of that, did you guys hear about the baseball player who admitted to that? <laughs> Some, uh, no. He, yeah, he pitches for, oh, he pitches for. The, um, the Diamondbacks reliever? The Diamondbacks. Archie? Oh, yeah. And he came pants in, the, uh, yeah. in the bullpen, right? Yeah, and he had to come out and pitch, <laughs> yeah. and he said, <laughs> Fancy this! One of the most uncomfortable, <laughs> uh, like appearances I've ever had. Like really, really, really? crap in your really? pants. Oh, okay. So don't crap in your well, pants. Well, it made I him guess. want to get out of the inning quicker. Wow, wait. Anything for speeding up the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's one way and baseball on that note, can yeah. pick up yeah, yeah. Play, Just shows right? you, you shouldn't be eating hot dogs in the bullpen. Well, later they asked him they, to see how he was doing. They say, "How'd you do?" And he said, "I'm pooped." <laughs> That's awful. Oh, jeez. Oh, That's oh, a sympathy that, laugh. I oh, know that wasn't yeah. funny at all. That was the sympathy media laugh. Exactly. Oh, Archie. Because <laughs> you guys have been banging Archie. on me. All Archie. right. This was a great one. We love it. Hey, dude who was supposed to be here, <laughs> thanks a lot. We'll yeah, see we'll, you next we'll time. Take a rain yeah. check and, hey, uh, 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 Facebook? Facebook. Twitter. Instagram. Insta Instagram. Website. I'll be on there like. Steve Lowry12 on Twitter. Tom yes. Farth on Twitter. Jan McElvey the John, McElvee, the John, <laughs> MCKLV, MCK. Oh, now he's actually telling people yeah, the John, the drill LA dot com yeah, get is on where the drill you can out. see all the video or the stories that we create, Jim Thompson's artwork, and some crazy stuff that we find and put up there just because it it amuses us. Yes, just like the show does, just <laughs> well, like they do. Yes, yes. Say goodbye, us. everybody. Goodbye, Bye. everybody. Thanks for showing up. We'll Thank see you. you. Oh, I think England just scored. No, they didn't.